Do you want to be in control of your life to the maximum extent possible? It all comes down to developing what's known as an internal locus of control. If you believe that you have control over what happens to you, you have what psychologists refer to as an internal locus of control. If you believe that you have no control over what happens and that external variables are to blame for everything that happens to you, then you have what's known as an external locus of control. Note that no one has a 100% external or internal locus of control. Instead, most people lie somewhere on the range between the two extremes. People with a dominant internal locus of control are more likely to take responsibility for their actions. They tend to be less influenced by the opinions of others. Often, they do better at tasks when they're allowed to work at their own pace. They usually have a strong sense of self-efficacy. They tend to work hard to achieve the things they want. They feel confident in the face of challenges. They tend to be physically healthier. They report being happier and more independent. They often achieve greater success in the workplace. People with a dominant external locus of control blame outside forces for their circumstances. They often credit luck or chance for any successes. They don't believe that they can change their situation through their own efforts. They frequently feel hopeless or powerless in the face of difficult situations. They're more prone to experiencing learned helplessness. Do you want to take control of your life? Do you want to develop a predominantly internal locus of control? If so, I invite you to reach out to me by going to my website at thewayofexcellence.com and book a free 20-minute Zoom chat with me so we can talk about getting you started. I hope to see you soon.